presentation, whether it was 45 minutes, or it doesn't matter. He covered the basics of the business. My job, this is what this is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would do. Before the meeting, if you wanna know, okay, Holton's pretty lucky, no, this is what Holton, this, this is what I would do when I was attending meetings. I would have Ed and my other legs of business. Hey, listen, before the meeting start, they would give me a slip of paper, or they would let me know, because text messages weren't in back then, how many guests they have. See, I, was, I, I knew how my business was running. If you know the number, you can grow them. I didn't go to meetings to have fun or to associate. I went to grow my business and to gain market share. No matter where I went in the meeting, my goal, first of all, was to make sure that I was there. If it was a brand new market, I set a time frame for when I'm going to have a row. I set another time frame for when I'm going to have a section, and I set another time frame for when I'm going to dominate and have half the room. That was the only purpose for me going to out-of-state markets is I was going to get market share. That's what it's about. It's about market share. I wasn't trying to compete. I wasn't trying to diminish anybody else. I was going because if the meeting had 200 people, I'm hoping that in six months it has 400 because I'm going to have 200 even though today I'm the only one here. I didn't go to do motivational speaking. I went for market share, to grow, to do exactly what he just mentioned, not stage. Stage is the icing on the cake. I went to do what David just talked about, do four or five, six meetings where nobody knows, or not that nobody knew, but where there was no big stage. That's called work. That's how you fill up the meeting. You don't fill up the meeting by going to the meeting. You fill up the meeting by what you do when the meeting is not going on. When I see people and you just travel and you're only doing big meetings, you're speaking. I know you get tired of hearing me say that. You're not going to grow the organization. I promise you, it's going to diminish because there's no work. You want to grow it, you go and you do two to three days of meetings, five, 10, 15, 20, 50 people at a time. And then when you come back, you do the big meeting, you do another five, 10, 15, 20, 30 people at a time. That's called network marketing, not net recognition marketing. It's the work. So what would happen is this. My core, who I was working with if I was in Houston, they know. At the end of the meeting, they passed me a slip of paper. Had 15 guests here, we got six applications. And they give me the total of what the volume was. Remember that? Before the meeting, they let me know how many guests they have. Why? Because I had a strategic method of, hey, listen, if, 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 let's just say, for example, uh, that, that Ed was new. If he was new and he's got six guests, he passed me his sheet, I'm going to be looking for where his guest is at the end of the meeting. Why? Because I don't want him closing his own guest. So he passed me his paper. He said, listen, I've got this person. This, maybe he's introduced them to me. And so we point. I know where they are. I'm here for business. I'm not here for fun and games. I'm here to grow and to make sure my family is going to eat this week. So I know what my game plan is. I can't wait for that meeting to be over. You don't dare talk to me if you have a red tag. And I, and I did, for sometimes I got a bad, bad rap because it seems like Holtz is so standoff. She won't. No, I'm not here to talk to you. The meeting after the meeting is when I'm gonna talk to you. When all the blue tags have left, now I'm your friend, okay? And I trained on it, don't talk to me uh, if there's a blue tag in the room. So Ed would have his, his folk, and, and we'd say, hey, listen, don't sit by your people in the meeting. Some of you want to mother hen your people. Come sit right next to me. No. I want them thinking I got so many people in here that I'm not sitting next to them, putting pressure on them to sign up. I act like I don't even see them when I have my personal guests. I'm going to let the meeting do the work for them. So what do I do? At the end of the meeting, okay, and, and I see all of these folk over here, they've got their name tags on. The other reason we give them name tags is because when I call their names during the closing session, I'm building rapport and a friendship. They have no idea how I know their names because they've forgotten that they have their name tag on. It's a strategy, I'm telling you, it's, it's a strategy. So I sit down here, 
I've got five people. I can do it with the larger group, five, six, seven. I never want to go 10. I like five or less. I, I, and I tell them, hey, listen, bring your seat over here. You know, bring your seat over here a little bit. There you go, right there. Right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay? I just led them. Guys, 95% of this business is mental. It's thought process. It's example. When I suggest and they do, that means already they're willing to follow. If I suggest something and they do it, I'm the authority. If you'll follow me once, you'll follow me twice, you're going to follow me the third time. That's a business person. That's how, that's how you do this. So I have them sitting here, okay? and I sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm a little fired up. I'm excited. Now, I'm not trying to be a boss to get them to do, I'm, hey, listen, you need to move your chair. No, 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 no. Hey, come on up a little bit, you know, perfect rather, just pull your chairs around a little bit. And, I, and, and I'm here, and this is what I do. You've got to learn people skills because you've got to look and identify who's excited. Why is it that I have Ed to tell me who his guests were so that during the meeting, I don't want to sit next to them. I'm sitting hopefully maybe behind or, or beside them because we would put the guests in the front we would sit behind the guest, why? So I can see if he's nodding his head. I can see if she's doing this. I know whether or not they're buying Emmanuel Bernstein by their body language. Remember, 95% or 85% of communication is body language, is nonverbal. But if you don't study people, you don't know. You're thinking that the presentation closes people. No, you are. So I'm watching, I already know who's negative. I already know who's positive. I already know whether he's been looking at his watch every five minutes. He's got to go. I'm not going to start and let him be the leader. Why? In this group here, there is a leader. If you don't find who the leader is, it's going to work against you. Anytime you put a group of people there, there's going to be a leader. Always. So I, I identify very quickly who the leader is. The leader is the person I want to speak first. I gave you the other example. When I do the, when I do the, 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 the you know, give me 15 seconds or 20 seconds, tell me your name and background. The first person sets the tone. If the first person, if Barry yesterday would have gone a minute, everybody else would have gone a minute. Why? People follow the leader. You got to remember, this world is not designed of leaders. This world is designed of followers. That's not negative. That's just the way it is. People are looking, 95% of the people, they get told what time they go to lunch. They get told where they can live. They get told all of these different things indirectly. They're following some other system. Why is it that you have a unique opportunity? Because here you are, you've got an opportunity to be a leader, and if you embrace leadership, you can rule the world. It's real simple because people are looking for someone to follow until they can lead. So here it is, I identify my leader. Let's say my leader here is Felicia. Okay? So now I've, I've already greeted each one of them by name. First thing I'm gonna say, you know, guys, uh, pretty excited here. Felicia, you seem to be pretty excited. Tell me a little bit, what, 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 what did you like best about what Mr. Bernstein had to pre present tonight? Hello. Put her mic on, please. Hi, Mr. Bugs. I'm excited because, to be honest with you, right now, I really need $10,000. And based on the conversation plan, I really see where I can actually gain that $10,000. So the money, was, the money was, was the thing that you sir. saw? Absolutely, sir. This is what I do. I'm going to give her confirmation. You know, Felicia, you're, you're absolutely right. When I saw this, that's exactly what I saw. I'm letting her know she's it's okay for her to see that. Okay? I'm letting her know that. So guess what I'm going to do now? I started with the leader. I'm starting with the person who's going to give me positive vibes. If he was shaking his head over there and looking at his watch, and even if he comes here, 
In this example, you're going to be the negative guy. There's a way to handle the negative guy. Okay? There's a way to handle them. So what I do is this here. Sometimes the negative person will turn into the most positive person right away. If you do them right, I'm going to show you how to do the negative person. Okay? So I start here with Felicia. I come here, what's your name? Anna. Anna, get the microphone. Anna, tell me, what did you like best about the presentation? I would have to say the money too. The money too? Yes. So if you were to work this business, what, what kind of money are you looking at? Big, small, you want to you know, just make part-time income or something you see full-time? Uh, I guess full-time. Full-time? Yes. Okay, what do you do right now? Um, right now, I, I do sales. You do sales right now? Okay, great. So, so you can see yourself actually doing this full time and not having to have your other career? Yes. Great, this wonderful. Clive, tell me, what, what, what did you like best about what you saw here? Well, I saw the opportunity to make a million dollars. A million dollars, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you know, Clive, you know what? We actually have several people who made millions of dollars. I'm prepared. I have my, my, my gold magazine, right? I never come here unprepared. I come here, I have my flip chart. I have my gold magazine. Okay, I have, I have any paraphernalia that we have that is a sales tool, I have it here. It's my ammunition where I don't have to sell. Okay, so Clive said he wanted to become a millionaire. You know what I do? I turn to the page, I say, you see, uh, you see here, I have this lady, Esther Hernandez. Yeah, she's one of our million dollar earners. Really? Yeah, matter of fact, she got started, uh, you know, just like yourself, sitting at a meeting just like this, and you know, within several years, she actually earned over a million dollars a year. She was one of the first two females we had to do it. What did she do? Okay, well, she actually followed a system that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, okay? okay? Now, why am I bringing up the female to him and not the male? To inspire her. If you understand people, you can get them to do anything. Okay? So now, I'm, I'm bringing up a female. She's inspired. He says, if she can do it, I'll kill her. <laughs> so I just inspired two people now. Okay? Tell me, what, what did you like best about what you saw here? Leadership. Leadership. Yeah. Self-development. Self-development. Self awesome. What, what do you do right now? I run a film and music production company. All right. Awesome. Awesome. We're well, good. Well, I can tell you, tell you one thing. We've got one of the best leadership development programs uh, that we have that, that you'll find anywhere in the world. Amazing. Yeah. I'm in. Absolutely. Well, good. Good. Now, I'm not going to ask him what he like this. The negative person I ignore because negativity wants attention. The only way it can display its negativity is to give it attention. If I give him the platform, he's now going to take the opportunity away from all four of them. He's really the alpha male in this organization, but he's negative. I need to turn him around to be positive because he will close all of them for me. How many of you have ever had a person come and say, I don't care how good this is, I ain't getting them. They're the first ones to sign up. Okay? If you ignore them, they want attention. The reason that he's going to turn is because he wants attention and he knows that the only way I can get attention is to give Holton positive vibes. I'm not going to feed into his negativity. Okay? I won't. I go back to my leader over here. He's my alpha male. Here's my leader. Now, if he gets belligerent, if he gets disrespectful, you have to remove the disrespectful party. Disrespect, don't confuse disagreement or not buying in with disrespect. Okay? So, for example, let's keep looking at your watch, for example, acting like you have somewhere to go and saying, how long is this going to take? You know, I, I see you, you looked at your watch, you know, quite a, quite a bit here. Are you in a rush or anything right now? You're, I'll tell you what, why don't we get together another time? And uh, maybe we'll cover some information another time because I want to go ahead and spend a little bit of time with him. I know right now maybe you don't have the time. I want you to go ahead and get with that one here and maybe we'll set some time on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you, though. Nice to meet you. I'm not disrespectful, but I'm going to come on back. Come on back. Come on back. That's an example of how I remove the negativity from this group. Okay? Not disrespectful. I grab his hand. I pull him up, stand up with him, and excuse him from the room. They're now paying attention because they say, this guy don't play. 
I've got their attention now. Okay, so go ahead, go back and have a seat. You're still my negative guy here. <laughs> okay. So now, here I go. I've gotten somebody who's given me a number. Okay. When they tell me what they want, you better remember. If you can't remember, write it down. When I walk in, when I do a meeting, and if it's a boardroom meeting, people are amazed how I remember everybody's name after I only met them one time. Because I sit there and I have a little piece of paper and I write the names down of where they're sitting. They have no idea what, they think I'm taking notes, I'm writing their names down. So that I, why? If you can remember the person's name, you're 50% there. They like, because that means you're taking a personal interest in knowing them. So here it is. This is how I do it. So, you know, Felicia, let me ask you a question here, okay? Obviously, everybody likes it. You like the money. You like the money. You want to make a million dollars, and, and uh, you know, you like the opportunity for leadership here. Let me ask you a question, Felicia, okay? For, 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 for $10,000 a month, if I was to personally work with you, and I can't work with everybody. You see, I've got a pretty large group here, and some of these people here are in my organization. Check this out. One of them could be in my organization. Or two. They don't know. But I'm the leader. Emmanuel Bernstein's not the leader. I'm the leader. He's my upline in this example, but I'm the leader. I don't want them to, to need him. I want them to, I can lead them. Okay? If I was to personally work with you, and I, and I can't work with everybody, obviously I've got quite a few people uh, that I'm working with right now, but if I was to personally work with you, $10,000 you know, $10, a month, over the next 90 days, would you be willing to put together a list of names? You know, maybe let's say I have 100, 200 people. It's kind of like, you know, uh, uh, kind of like what Nam did with you. Let's just say Nam is your sponsor here. Okay? Absolutely. You, you, you'd be willing to do that? Yes, sir. I'm getting, I'm asking questions that's going to bring me a yes. This is a negotiation here. She wants 10,000, I want 200 names. You give me 200 names, I'm going to help you towards 10,000. That's the, way I, that's the way I think about it. You ever see hostage negotiations? Send us some pizza, I'll let a hostage go. Turn the lights on, the AC in, I'll let another hostage go. I'm, that's all I'm gonna do throughout this whole process is I'm gonna give her something and she's gonna give me what I want. But you gotta find out what they want. That's why, what did you like best about what you saw? 10,000. The opportunity to make a lot of money. A million dollars. Leadership development. Remember it. You have to remember it. Okay? So now, are, would you be willing to you know, put together a list of 100, 200, 200 names or so? Sure. Okay? Now, 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 Clive, listen. Obviously, your goals are, 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 are you know, probably a little bit more loftier. That's not something that we'll do in the next 90 days. The millionaire program is something we definitely can do. But tell me, over the next 90 days, if I was to choose to work with you as well, what type of income would you like to see over the next 90 days? About 20,000. About 20,000, yeah. okay. Now, Clive, let me ask you this here. Are you saying 20,000 per month or cumulative 20,000? Per month. Per month. Have you ever made 20,000 per month in any business before in three months? Yes, I have. Yeah, okay, so you're pretty much used to that. Yeah. So I'm sure we can, we can get some of that done. Matter of fact, Clive, pull up my book again, okay? You, you see this leader right here? Yeah. They got started in our business. They, they achieved a level called Diamond. They did it in you know their first uh, 90 days. They were over 20,000 a month. Uh, absolutely, and I, was, I played a part and, and uh, them being able to do that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now, they're not in my group. I'm not even a diamond. You say, well, Holton, how did you play a part? I showed up at the meetings when they had some guests who attended. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you got, uh, it's, it's true. I played a part. What if everybody like me didn't show up when they had guests? Do you think that they would have had some sign-ups? No. I play a very important role. Okay? You have to understand what your position is, okay? You have to understand what your position is. You find people who lay bricks for a living? Some people lay bricks. That's what they think they do. Some people build skyscrapers. If the bricklayers weren't there, could the skyscrapers be built? No. So that bricklayer is just as important as the architect, just as important as the engineer. There's no part of this business that you will occupy that is not important. Okay, so now I come back to this. I'm giving more validation. I'm showing him who's done. Why? People 
want social proof. They want to know somebody has done what it is that I want to accomplish. I still have not talked to my Negi guy yet. I'm not going to give him any attention. So Clive, obviously for $20,000 a month, you know, we're probably going to have to go out after this a little bit more aggressively. Uh, you know, would you say, how many contacts do you say you have in your phone? Over 400, 500? Several six. Around 600? Well, listen, we probably won't go through all of the people, okay. but for your aggressive plan, what I would like to see is you put together a list maybe about three to 400. We can do that. We can do that? We can do that. We, we, the way we're going to do this, we probably won't get to all of them, but it will give us a good start. Okay. okay? All this put together 50 names. He said he want to make 20 grand a month. Well, put together 20 names and work five to seven hours a week, part time. And you're lying to these people. That's not, that's not true. You, you, you're not going to do that. You have to, you have to give him the right expectations because you don't want him to fail. I'm not guaranteeing him. I'm just telling him what I know is necessary. Okay, so you, you, you willing to put that together? Absolutely. Okay? Now, let me ask you a question here, okay? What about yourself? Would you be willing to put together a list of, you know, a couple hundred people? Mm, yes, I could do that. For sure? Yeah, I have like, yeah, about 200. About 200? Okay. Yes. Well, well, great. Well, well, tell me specifically, what amount of money in the first 90 days would you, do you, do you see that would be worthwhile for you, you know, uh, for, for me working with you? What kind of money in the first 90 days? Mm, I could probably go... Uh, or what would you want to make? What, what, what's your hot button? What, tell me what it is that you really want to make. And don't worry about what they want. I want to know specifically what your income is. What you want to make. Uh, $10,000 a about month. About 10000 yeah. Have you ever made 10000 a month before? Yes. Yeah, great. Okay, so that's no, no problem. The reason why I ask that is people sometimes when they see the plan, they see the big opportunity and the potential. They're probably making $3,000 a month. But they say they want to make forty grand. Have you ever made forty grand before? No. Have you ever made twenty? No. It's possible you can get there. It's gonna take a little time. But let's go ahead and dial it down a little bit. For the time that we're gonna put in, what would be worth your while? What would let you know that this was worthwhile of you getting started in Organic Gold? Give me something that's real reachable for you. And I bring them down to a level of income that they believe. Because as I mentioned to Esther yesterday, it must be accountable. If he says he wants to make a million dollars in the next 90 days, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna quit in the first week because he's not gonna be accountable to that. I'd rather for the person to say, hey listen, $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month is great for me because I have somebody who, who really identifies and see and I can work with them through that program, okay? Now, so I go through this and uh, my next question that I'm asking, okay? I'm, I'm gonna come over here now, okay? Well, let me ask you a question here. Obviously for developing leadership, leadership is, is, is uh, uh, a lot about being coachable, teachable, and trainable. Right? There's several things that I'm going to be asking uh, as we're working together. I want to make sure that you, did you consider yourself to be coachable, teachable, and trainable? Absolutely, and hungry. Awesome, awesome. Because there's certain things, obviously, to make the type of money that you want to make, that you guys want to make, and to be a leader, there's many things that you may not understand about this business uh, that I'm going to ask you, but I want you to understand that I am going to actually be sharing with you things that's going to be in your best interest. But I, I, I only get good results with people who are teachable, coachable, and trainable. Is that kind of yourself? Okay. Now, Mr. Nagy guy starts shaking his head. Yes, why? He wants me to talk to him. You've got to pay attention to it. It happens all the time. I'm asking them questions. I'm getting all of them to nod. And soon he's going to start nodding. When I get to the middle and bring him in, he's going to close everybody. They saw how negative he was, and then they saw how he turned around. Right now, he is my biggest asset if I handle him right. Okay, and I'm giving you all of these scenarios. You don't always have this, but I want you to understand how to handle a person whose energy is off. Okay, so now I've already gotten them to agree to build a list of names. I've already gotten them to agree to be coachable, teachable, and trainable. Okay, now Felicia, to make ten thousand dollars a month, okay, it, it's going to require somewhere about 20, 25 hours a week of, 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 of some of your, you know, your, your part time. You get to set that schedule. You don't have to quit your full time job. But is that something that you can do? Is you, can you carve that out? If I'm going to work with you, we're going to need about 20, 25 hours a week outside of what you currently do on your own schedule. Is that something we can do? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about yourself? You got 15, 20 hours a week, you know, getting to, get to that type of money. Is that something you can do? Yeah, I could do it. What about yourself, bro? Yes, I can. Okay. 
I'll do whatever you say. Okay. All right. Now, now remember, they don't have microphones here, so the answers come much quicker. Normally, they're going to come in unison together. Okay. Sometimes the Mr. Negative, I can I can do that too. Okay. As soon as he gives me strong positive feedback for the second time, is when I'm now going to engage him. I won't do it the first time. I make him I make him earn it. Okay. And so now I've got them to answer those three questions. So this is what I do. I go back into my portfolio here. Okay. Watch this here. Why don't you go ahead and take this enrollment form here. Why don't you take this form here. This one here. Okay. This form here. Now. Oh, you, okay, sure. I, absolutely. I'll give you one too. Okay. okay. Based off everything I've asked them, are you still in agreement with everything I asked them? Coachable, teachable, and trainable? Okay, you can find some time. Okay. I'm in control. It's my environment. I'm going to control it. Okay? Now, this is what I do here. Okay? I may now, I've already, Felicia's done. She's, she's, she's in. You can stick a fork in her. She's done. Okay? And so now I may be over here, I may be over here to Clive now. Okay? Who's my second confirmation leader. Okay, I, I gotta know that she's in. He's in, he already, whatever you do, I'm gonna do it. Whatever you tell me that I'm gonna do, he's in. I don't have to worry about him. I gotta now get him and him. I need all of them to close, okay? So this is what I do here. Clive, listen here, let me give you this pen here. Based off what we talked about, what I, need, what I need everybody to do here real quick, you see where it says name up here? Yeah. On this application? I need, okay, everybody go ahead and write your first and your last name. Whatever, whatever name you want your debit card to come in, because see what Organo Gold does is they give you a debit card, okay? They give you a debit card. Your debit card uh, is where all your commissions, so that 10,000 a month is gonna come on this card. I show them the card. It's a tool. You don't have to have any money on it. You show them the card. You know what? They want one of these. Okay? So you show them the card. Go ahead and put your first and your last name. Okay? Now, let me ask you a question, uh, Clive. I'm doing this with Clive here. Everybody else is following suit. Clive, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, what phone number would you want Organogold to call you? Let's just say, for example, that they were sending you, a, uh, uh, had an issue with your commission or something like that, and they need to get a hold of you. What number would you want them to reach you on? A cell phone. Okay. Now go ahead and put your cell phone number in there. Sure. Okay. So they're putting their cell phone number in. All right. Let me ask you a question. What, uh, what address do you want your debit card uh, uh, delivered to? My house. Your house? Okay. Go ahead and put that because we don't do P.O. boxes. Okay. So go ahead and put your house there. Okay. So I'm getting that information. Now, now, Clive, let me ask you a question. Now, when you earn a million dollars, it's a little different than earning a million dollars in a job. Here, you're gonna have substantial tax write-offs. You get all of your money, you pay your taxes at the end, which means you can invest it however you wanna do and pay less taxes than somebody who owns a traditional job making that type of money. Do you wanna go ahead and have Organogo assign your million dollars to a social, a, tax, a social security number or a tax ID? Tax ID. Tax ID. Could you go ahead, and give, uh, go ahead and put that tax ID number there? Why do I say I give them the option for a reason? The reason I give them an option is because 99% of the people don't have a tax ID. But when you ask for a person's social security number, it's an invasion of their privacy. They don't know you. And to say, give me your social, people are, people are very hesitant to release it. So you say, hey, do you want this 5,000 a month, which is 60,000 a year, to go on your tax ID or your social? When they don't have a tax ID, they're gonna say social. And so I say, go ahead and write that social right there. They never give any, they never give any pullback, ever, when you give them an option, why? Because they're, you're making it feel like they're choosing, but I'm the leader. They don't know it, I'm leading them. They think they're making the decision, but I'm making it. That's the key, okay? So he puts that social security number there. Watch this, guys, I do this, I do this over the phone like this all the time, all the time. I, on three-way calls, this is how I, when I was in the closing business, chasing business, this is what I, this is my three-way call at the end. Th these same questions, 
is what I would do on a three-way call. Okay? So now, I go through that. Now, based off of what we talked about, obviously with the goals that you have, the goals that you have in you, and you want to set an example of leadership, uh, Mr. Bernstein covered all of the different levels of getting started. Now, the thing I, I, I'd say is this here, for you making that $10,000 a month, the goal pack is what I would strongly recommend. Let me tell you why. Because let's say you chose the bronze pack, you'd have to do the work to earn $20,000, but the company's going to pay you ten. Which one do you want to start with? Do you want to do the work of making 10 and the company pay you 10 or doing the work of 10 and the company pay you five? Okay, so you start with the gold pack. Bronze pack pays half the money that the gold pack pays. Am I right? When I give them scenarios, they understand it better. Okay? I don't say, well, how do you want to start? Bronze. Okay. No, I'm leading them. Okay. Now she, I'm going to keep going until somebody stops me. They very seldom, if ever, stop me. So what I do is this. Go ahead. So go ahead, uh, uh, Clyde. You see what that says? I mean, gold pack. Check that off. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead and check that off, Clyde. Now, at the bottom here, you see where it says auto ship. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and select the, 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 the six pack. I'll share with you why. Because when we're earning this money, let's say your third month, your second month in business, we're going to be so busy building this organization, I don't want you to have to remember to place your order. So we'll go ahead and select it now. It's 100 CV. It's going to cost you about $108 plus shipping. It's not going to be nowhere near enough coffee right now, but we're going to come back and adjust it, and I'll show you how to be a star achiever. Don't worry about that now. So I'm going to sell him on the 450 Star Achiever, but say, listen, I only need you to do 100 now. I don't start them off on a case. Hey, listen, you want to be a Star Achiever? You don't even know what a Star Achiever is. <laughs> I start them off on 100 CV of auto ship. Okay? So I need everybody to go ahead and check that box that says auto ship there. 100 CV. Okay? Now, here we go. We're going through that. We've selected the auto ship. I've, I've gone through, selected, you know, the name for their website. What are your username? All of the stuff, you should have the application burned into your memory. Here's the big one. Okay. Down here where it says payment information. Clyde, let me ask you a question, okay? All right. Or, actually, what I typically would do is I'll go with a lady on this one here. If I have a lady in the group. Who's my, who's in agreement with me here? Anna. Okay. So Anna, let me ask you a question. You see over here with, with the payment information here? Okay. Uh, Anna, what, what's the uh, what's the three-digit code on your credit card? Uh, I don't know them. You, 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 can, you, can you look it up and see what the three-digit code is? Okay. Okay. Uh. okay, so typically she goes in her purse and she looks at, she don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> okay, what is, what's the three-digit code on your credit card? Um. On the back? Yeah, what's the th you know the three digit code on the back? Uh huh. It's 366. 366. Is that a Master, Visa, or American Express? It's a Visa. Visa? Okay. Visa typically starts with four. Anna, Anna, what's the other 15 digits after that four? <laughs> okay. Uh, and they just give it to me. I never asked for a person's credit card number. It's invasive. They, it, they're, gonna, they're gonna pull back. Visa start with four, MasterCard starts with five, American Express starts with three, Discover starts with six. You should know that. Is that a Master Visa or American Express? Oh, it's a Visa. Or oh, it's a MasterCard. American Express typically starts with five. What's the other 15 digits after that five? And they just give it to you because they don't feel like they're spending money. If I say, give me your credit card number, they've been asked for their credit card number every time they make a purchase. I don't want them to feel that they're making a purchase because they will stop me, okay? Sometimes this is what I'll do here, okay? Watch this here, let me show you real leadership. You don't do this in, in an invasive manner, I do this in a leadership manner to show leadership and, and, and to show that I know what I'm doing, okay? So Anna, what's the three digit code on that credit card again? Uh, 366. And is that a master of Visa and American Express? It's a Visa. Let me see here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you see your paper here? Let me go ahead and make sure I put the right numbers down. Sometimes people, you know, uh, write it illegibly, and I need to write it down so that I know exactly how to put it, put it in there. I need everybody to follow suit here. So I ask 
let me see it here for a second, and I get it from her and I write it in for her. I've collected the first application. Now, the way we're going to do this, guys, is this here, okay? I just happen to have Anna's first, which is, you know, which, 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 which was just coincidental here. The way we're going to do this is that some of you guys are actually going to go below Anna, and, but, but it's no big deal. I have another meeting tomorrow, okay? And, and um, with that meeting we have tomorrow, Nam, we're doing another meeting for Nam tomorrow, and some of those people will actually probably fall below you guys as well, so no big deal there, okay? But what I want us to do is this here. Go ahead and finish that up. Turn in the application so I can have you finish it. Let me make sure it's all correct. Let me see here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I think, it, yep, everything's correct here. Let me see, let me see here real quick. Yeah. Make sure it's everything. Because sometimes these things are illegible. People don't turn them in and fill out everything. And if, if it's not correct, I can't put you in. And the people I'm putting in tomorrow, uh, you'll go below them instead of above them. So, let's see here. Do you take personal checks? Uh, no, we don't take any personal. If you got a checking account, I'm sure you got a debit card. Just put your debit card information there. I got five applications. I, I, I've done this so many times. I do it over the phone so many times. I've had people call back to the person who three-way me in, and they said, this, I, this dude was so, I had no idea I had even, I want him to, can he do this for me? I got some people I need him to talk to because I don't make it feel like a purchase. I don't make it feel like a sign up. I'm leading them. All they're thinking about is 10,000. She's thinking about her money. She wants to make her 10,000 her 10, a month. He's thinking about his 20,000. He's thinking about leadership. I'm gonna give them what they want. They're gonna give me what I want is information. We're gonna exchange. Here, Anna, here's your card back. I want to make sure I don't forget that. Well, guys, listen, what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, uh, I want you to stay around. You guys got, got another 15, 20 minutes? Okay. What we're going to do is this here. Uh, we, we've got one of our leaders over here, John Securis. He's going to go through the getting started training. Okay. Real important. I want you to go through this here. Here's a, uh, a coffee that pays DVD. Here's a cash cow. Here's one of these magazines that I'm giving them. If I am their upline. I am giving it to them. How do you mean you're giving it to them? I just got three gold packs, I mean, three gold packs and maybe two silver packs, whatever it is. I, we just made some money. I'm not in this for a one-time fast start or a binary check. I'm in this for the long term. I'm in this so that I can invest in the you and the you and the you and the you and the you. Now listen, one of the fastest tracks of making sure that we get to your 10, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, is this, I want you to go ahead and listen. Do you have a CD player in your car? Yes. Hey, listen, I open up the cash cow. I take out CD number one. I give them CD number one in their hand, and I edify it. Listen, CD number one, I want you to listen to this. How long of a drive it is from, from here to back to your home? About three, about three hours, okay? Well, you may be able to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> Definitely, I want you to you know listen to CD number one. Okay? Because CD number one is really going to let you know what this business is all about and the mindset it's going to take to get that money for you. Okay, So here, I give him the cash cow. CD number one is on top. Why? Why am I giving that to him? Because he's going to go home and his wife is going to say, you spent what? <laughs> but when he hears our story, he's even sold, he's sold even more. I have to reinforce his buying decision. I have to reinforce it. Most of us, we saw, hey, I got a gold pack, got a gold pack, got a gold pack. See you later, man. I'll call you uh, maybe in whenever. <laughs> and you go around shouting about that $150 that you just made. And then two weeks later, you start to see this return. Because <laughs> you didn't reinforce what you did. You didn't secure your business. So I, I, I prepare them. I'm giving them information. I'm making an investment. Stop being cheap with your business. If I have a choice between buying clothes and tools, I'm going to wear the same outfit. Because I can't make money with my clothes, but if I put it into my tools and I make sure each one of them are fed with what they need to be fed, 
They've got the ground, whatever it is, okay? And, and if I'm personally sponsoring them, I, I, I'm Santa Claus. I'm not cheap with the people that I sponsor. Here's your little one sachet of coffee. No, the, the person I just sponsored to say, listen, I, here, listen, you know what? He's at a distance. We're going to build this big. Listen, I need you sampling some coffee. Send them a big care pack, not one box, not two. We're going to build a big business. Shane didn't send me a box of coffee. He sent me over fifteen, almost $20,000 worth. So you got to decide, are you going to be in the big leagues or are you going to still play around in kindergarten? Because you can, you, you can do this at any level you want. But you want to be a leader? Start right here in the living room. This is where I started. I didn't start on stage. I started here. I wasn't the biggest pen in the room, but this is what I did. This, this is what I did. When I came to the meetings, it was lights, camera, action. I did not come to play around. I don't come to, to, to chit. That's why some people I won't sit next to at events, because they're going to talk the entire time. No. Your conversation is not as important as what this information is. I, I paid my time. I'm giving up time with my, my family. I paid my money, and I'm going to sit here and listen to you? No. No. This is, once all of this is done, and all the blue tags are gone, you can talk. We can talk to the cows come home. I'm going to be maybe one of the last ones to leave the meeting. Until then, I got work. This is. Now I go to work. He teed it up. He showed them the presentation. It's my job to get the money. It's not his job. Well, he did it. You know, he didn't cover this. and he, You cover it. Well, hold on. Before I get started, you know, I, how did that, you know, that compensation plan work? Well, I got my flip chart right here. <coughs> well, oh, see, that dual team, see, this is how it's going to work here. And I flip, I turned to that page in my flip chart and I showed them how it's going to work. I've got my tools right here. I'm here for business. Guys, this is simple. And I do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over, over, over every single week. And I don't try to get cute. It's the same thing over and over and over again. The reason why we break away from it is because we get recognition and we think this is beneath us. Oh, this is for new people. I should be able to walk in the room, give a presentation, and everybody get gold packs. And when they don't, oh, something wrong with them. They're going to have a job. For no, you didn't lead them properly. The work starts right now. This is what I do. I bring them in. I may even stand up, hey guys, congratulations, we got several new gold packs, and, and, and the room will start clapping for them. Watch this, okay? When you sign up that gold pack, you do it. You bring, bring them up, hey, what, I never asked you, what was your name again? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Guys, we have a brand new gold pack in the room. Everybody give them a round of applause. Okay? Woo! Here's the second part of psychology. When they start going on, it will pop like popcorn, okay? Because you got several other groups that are sitting there like this. Some people are sitting there confused. Some people are sitting there, they don't have no idea what to do. Some people are sitting there skeptical. And what do they want? They want social proof. When somebody else does it, it's now okay for me to do it. And so now, hey guys, uh, I got enough. Felicia, come over here. We got another gold pack. Everybody congratulate another gold pack that we have over here, okay? We got, we got, a, we got, a, we got a silver pack over here, guys. I'm going to Congratulations. upgrade. He's going to upgrade, okay? Come, come on over here. We got another gold pack, okay? We got, Adam, we got another gold pack over here. Give him a round of applause. And guess what's happening? Over there, the people who were sitting there not signing up, they want this recognition. They're going to sign up because they want to have people applaud for them as well. Trust me, guys. This works. This works like, guys, I'm telling you. It's, it's a mental game of psychology of and creating a, a conducive environment for people to feel good about the decision that they're making. And when you see person after person after person stand up, you know what they're saying? I don't want to get left out here. Let me fill this thing out because, man, you, are they going to call my name? Okay? I've had people to turn out their paper into me and say, hey, listen, you going to tell them I signed up? 
Yeah, yeah, it's that what about me thing, okay? And if I had him didn't sign up for him or, or, or Felicia and I had these three to sign up here, they're now going to be filling out their paperwork. Because if she, if they didn't all do it together and they're hesitant, I'm going to give so much applause and praise in that group to the one that, the first one that did, because it's going to be like popcorn. It happens all the time. Okay? It happens all the time. It's the psychology of sales. And it's really not sales. It's the psychology of what I call incremental leadership. You, you start at a very small basis of just having them move their chair is the first step of leadership. If they're going to follow, I, I have them follow and say yes to a series of different things. When a person's in the habit of doing this, if you do this the whole time, it's hard to do this now. You're going to keep doing this. Okay? So, where's our gentleman? Who have, there he is right there. This is what I do. Okay? This is what you should be doing. Okay? And this is what you should be training. Okay? And, ter and you, you want to do Saturday trainings on the weekend with 50, 60 people, however many people come to your trainings? Train them on how to be, train them on, on, on meeting etiquette. Train them on what should be taking place because if everybody else is having conversations, this is not going to work. But when everybody else is now into action mode, you got a, you got a machine, a well-oiled machine. Okay? I got two questions here, Dwayne, and, and then over here. Yes? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been kind of trying to negotiate this with myself. This is the point that I do it. I've got them to stay for the uh, for the getting started training. Okay. Well, we already know step number three is to set four CJMs. So I'm going to now allow John Saturis to go through that training. I get back with them. I reinforce what he said. Guys, step three that he talked about. You've already agreed to do step one, uh, step two is to make a list. Step three, we're going to go ahead and set these CJMs up. I open my calendar. If I'm working with them specifically, I open up my calendar and I tell them what date that I have. These are my personal guests. I tell them what date I can do the CJM at that moment. How do I do it? Okay. I come, Emmanuel, let me ask you a question here. Okay. Because now he's ready. Emmanuel, I know that you, know, you said that you want to make an extra you know, $3,000 a month. Okay. Let me ask you a question here. Next week, what's the best day for me to show you how to put an extra five hundred dollars in your pocket? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep. Okay. I've got Wednesday available. Wednesday. Let me ask you a question. On Wednesday, seven o'clock, for me to show you how to make five hundred, could you have twenty people at your house? More than that. More than that. Great. What we'll do is this: I'll show you how to make five hundred on Wednesday. Sure. But I'll show you how to make five hundred the next three Wednesdays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to book you for four Wednesdays. I never book one meeting. You book one meeting, you're hoping he fails. Because I know I'm going to succeed, I have to have backup meetings. You book one meeting, it's over. It, it's, you're saying, hey, listen, I'm going to come to your house. Nobody's going to sign up because I don't need anywhere to direct other people to because we're going to fail. I booked four meetings. So now I'm over here Wednesday. With Felicia, I may, uh, I may have Thursdays. Over here with Anna, I, I, may, have, I may book Anna and, 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 and my leadership guy together, and I may do them on Saturday. Clive, I may go ahead and tell Clive, he, he, uh, I may book Clive on, on Sundays. I now have four legs of business that I'm working. I've got four CJMs a week that I can do now. The reason you're not doing, see, you're just not working the business. You can start your first week and get busy enough to have four CJMs a week. You can do it just from, the, just from one meeting. One meeting. I got five new people signed up and different legs. I got four CJMs. Let's say if this was one leg. I do four more meetings. I got four legs of business. It should take no longer than two weeks before you start doing four meetings per week. This is, a, this is the message to everybody, more, and more, more particular, those of you who hit high levels of leadership.
I want you to really do some, 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 some self-reflection. And, and, and I want you to really be honest with yourself. This is not for our rubies and emeralds right now. This is for diamonds and above. When is the last time you've been in the living room? When is the last time you've done a meeting, a CJM with five people? Not a stage meeting, not travel to a city, a living room, not inviting everybody to your house and you don't have any guests. When is the last time you've been in your city in somebody's living room talking to four, five people? Do some self-reflection. I promise you, the answer to where your business is will be revealed to you. If you compare how many living rooms you've been in in the last 12 months to your first 12 months, you will get your answer. I promise you, the money is in the living rooms and dens. The money is not webinars. The money is not on conference calls. The money is not in Super Saturdays. The money is not uh, 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 doing uh, leadership. No, the money is in living rooms and dens, looking you in the eye. Person to person, groups, four, five, six people at a time. That's where you get rich. That's where your volume is. And if your volume is not there, nine times out of 10, your group's presence is not in living rooms. As a leader, we get addicted to doing larger meetings. Larger meetings are nothing more than belief builders. But if you don't have a group, there's no belief to build. You better get back there and get a group. Never leave the living rooms and dens. Do not become a conference call professional. Do not become a webinar professional. Do not become a Super Saturday professional. Do not become a social media professional. Become a living rooms and dens professional. And if you stay there, I, I promise, if you lead your group and you stay in those trenches, you will be able to weather any storm. I'm not saying your volume will never go up or down. That's always going to happen. But your, your group is in tune with how to do it. Because as I mentioned, Mary Angelus Mary just said it. I see all of these trainings. You know why? Because they're not working. They're, they're, I want to create a banner and put it out on Facebook. And it's not just diamonds. It's even below. I want to do all of these trainings and all of this stuff because I'm going to sit at home and, and I don't want to go back and work. I don't want to do what I did to get here. So I'll train people. Hopefully they'll do it because it should be their time. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, we had a question over who was right here. There was a question over here. Ho Jose had a question. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll, we're going to turn cameras off now. Uh, yes, uh, Rodrigo. 